Hello and good morning, everyone. So, uh, okay, thank you for the confirmation. Okay, I was not audible. <laughs> so, good morning, everyone. So, I hope I am clearly audible right now. Okay. <clears throat> good morning, Uttarakhand vlogs. Okay, good morning. Kajal, can you please check if I'm now audible or not? I guess it's uh, completely fine right now. Okay, thanks, Dragon, for the confirmation. Okay, so uh, are you guys aware about today's session? What this session is going to be all about? And so basically, before moving to this session part i would like to know what kind of audience do we have today so are you guys college fresher or are you a working professional or just a small introduction or a background about yourself what currently you guys are doing so let's try to make this session very much interactive so that uh, it, it won't be worrying for uh, all of us right just write down what currently you are pursuing <clears throat> okay so we have a, a working professional over here okay so and what else do we have uh, do we have students as well so soft exactly so it's going to be uh, regarding test automation engineering okay software development I'm studying uh, towards cybersecurity. That's really great if you are studying cybersecurity. Okay, so uh, one more thing, uh, an interesting thing I would like to share with you guys that are you guys aware about Geek Olympics? Okay, so Aditya is in third year of BTEC. Okay, so we have a working professional, we have someone who is uh, pursuing his BTEC. So vast variety, majorly everyone who is looking forward to get into uh, test, test automation, right? Uh, is it software development or software testing? It is uh, regarding software development, engineering and test. Okay, so basically it will be uh, related to SDET. Software testing and automation, uh, everything regarding the uh, software testing uh, and the technologies which are required for the testing and automation part uh, and the software development part uh, will be covered. And a brief idea will be given to you guys that what you should do. And we have an expert mentor over here. So, sir, sir, go be lying, Rahul. So just one thing I would like to share with you guys that don't spam the messages because it's not a good thing. Okay. Well, Oja and current pursuing. Okay. So, okay. So got it. So basically, uh, I got the idea about everyone. So now I would like to know whether are you guys aware about Geek Olympics? Yes or no in the chat box. So if you are not aware, like, let me just me, uh, let me share my screen and just give you a short idea about what Geek Olympics is. Okay, I hope my uh, screen is clearly visible. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Sir, is field mein internship karna hai, to kya karna hoga? Okay, so all kind, all kinds of doubt related to this field will be nicely answered by our mentor. So we'll be welcoming our mentor in short period of time. So before that, I have an interesting thing to share with you guys that this is an event currently going on you should take the best out of it because trust me, there are many interesting activities. Like along with the activities, you will be learning something. You will be uh, enhancing your skills. Okay, so do register in Geek Olympics. You can uh, have a look at the course page. There will be different, different activities like Code Extreme, uh, Live Stage, where each and every day there will be live session where the industry mentor will be invited and you can post down your doubts and you can ask them to uh, like, uh, what is the uh, roadmap and how can I get into this tech industry? Basically, you can have a Q&A kind of session with the uh, mentor live on YouTube. 
okay and you can explore this part and every day you will be having an offer if you are like uh, motivated towards uh, going in specific direction pursuing your career in let's say uh, back end development or any of the tech in tech part then you can uh, take the best out of the offer which will be available okay so you can have a look at the course page i'll be sharing the link in the chat box acha so agar geeks for geeks company mein agar internship karna hai to then you can look down at the uh, job portal of geeks for geeks okay so there will be a job posting if currently we have any kind of hiring okay so without any delay let me give you an idea about what we are going to cover in today's session i have shared the link about geek olympics as well so are you guys excited about uh, today's session yes or no in the chat box okay so basically uh, in this session will be uh diving into the exciting world of software development engineering in test okay and basically we'll be give, giving you a basic idea about uh, what software development uh, engineering is basically testing and automation part uh, especially in the software development engineering part and uh, according to one of the report by indeed that the job posting for sdts uh, have increased by 270% so this field this technology is very much into demand uh, right now so if you are looking forward to pursue your career then you are on the correct path okay so this data was shared by the indeed uh, like for the year 2015 to 2020 and the job posting for sdts have increased by 270 percent okay and increase uh, indicating a rapidly growing demand for uh, professionals in this field okay so basically hiring and there are many openings and basically skilled Uh, employees who are like very much uh, driven to this technology are required uh, as we can see by the numbers right is it so am i not audible is it so i got an uh... am i audible okay i guess i'm audible clearly okay okay sd testing internship kahan se karna chahiye off campus ya in famous okay okay so okay okay so uh, without any delay let's start today's session i'll be giving a short introduction about the mentor so basically uh, today's guest is nitesh uh he's having an experience of 15 plus years uh in the software industry he's currently working as a quality assurance lead in watermark he has significant experience in manual testing automated testing quality assurance test management and much more uh he is highly skilled in test automation frameworks like selenium uh test ng cucumber etc and he is a isqtb certified test analyst test uh, technical test analyst and a test manager okay so basically uh, let's uh, welcome today's uh, mentor nitesh hello guys hello everyone hello sir hi yes thanks for the nice introduction jay and uh, um i can start uh from my part now i am trying yes, to present sir. something but before yes, that i'll be handing, uh, the, I'll be, uh, handing over the session to the sir and you guys can ask the session and regarding the q and a part will be covering uh, during the session sir will be taking the doubts as well so you can post con constantly the doubts in the comment section right and yeah okay great thank you thank you so um as jay said already i am nitesh here and uh, um i'll i'll play a role of your guide mentor or trainer for the sdt course and uh, let's understand that uh, nowadays it's it's like testing is equally important right 
uh, when you are working in agile development methodologies, right? There are team. There is team where you will be having UI developers, architects, right? And uh, developers. At the same time, you will be having test engineers. So nowadays, the industry demands that you should have uh, manual testing knowledge as well as solid understanding about the automation side. You should have good hands on on the coding and the framework designing part as well right so let's let's directly jump to um you know um understanding about the roadmap if you want to become a test engineer right or a test automation engineer um uh, what roadmap you should follow okay i'm sharing my screen now Great. So um, just confirm that you are able to see learning and implementation roadmap. So this roadmap is uh, not just like having a roadmap to learn something within two months, three months, four months. It's not like that. It doesn't work like that actually, right? So until you actually divide it by, okay, in, let's say, if this is just for that example, let's say Q1 means the quarter one, right? If you divide it like, okay, in one year, I want to become a better test engineer or test automation engineer you have to divide it okay one by one what i will do so these are like four phases right for some of the people maybe it's not 90 days for the q1 right you may have less number of days but uh, for an example i have taken it like this that spend the time to learn first okay so when we say q1 let's say quarter one so there are four parts so first part the first quarter you should learn it properly Right. We'll talk about what to learn and all, but let's understand there are four parts. Learn, then practice it. Do your own project in the Q2 part or quarter two. Then in the quarter three, experiment with it. Okay, Implement it with different kind of project, different kind of framework, so that you will understand that what kind of difficulty can come, how you troubleshoot it, right? And the last Q4, share it. You know, sharing is the validation that you actually learned something or you have done the practice. The more you will follow this Q1, Q2 and Q3, you will be more confident on the sharing part. So when you say share, it's like whatever you have learned, share it with your team member. It's like this. Okay. So um, now we'll talk about for the test automation part, right? how you should start you know learning it because um what you want to learn that is important but more important thing is how you will be learning it right so let's understand that part that follow the practical approach whenever you want to learn something don't just focus on the theoretical part okay so I have written this thing, the sequence of uh, if you want to, you know, become a test automation engineer, how you should uh, follow it. Okay, And I have taken this example for the UI automation. I am not talking about the API testing automation or the performance testing automation. Here we are considering that we want to automate one user interface or the website or the web page right we want to automate the web pages so what what, what is web page if if uh, somebody want to understand what is uh, web page itself right so uh, let's understand that uh, if there is a website let's say this one right whatever you see here is some kind of you know website or the web page here you automate the flows so for example you want to log out from here right so you have to click on the drop down 
and you have to select the logout and then it will show you a message that you have been successfully logged out. So people write the uh, manual test cases to do these things, correct? So the same pattern, the same sequence of step, when you, you do it through a script that is called test automation, means you will not be executing your case. The machine will do it on your behalf. It's like this, OK? Coming back to the slide. So you should learn HTML first, CSS, and JavaScript. Basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can get it from, from Geeks for Geeks also has uh, some blogs about it, some tutorial about it, or some other blogs available in the internet, right? Where you can learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, just the basic part. Why this is required? Because ultimately you have to play with the user interface. Okay? And this user interface is written through HTML code. See, if I do right click and I'll say view page source, I'll be able to see how the code of this website is written, correct? So basic use user interface code. Client side scripting is also there, correct? So when you want to play with this, let's say I want to click on the home. So I should know how, you know, what is the code behind it? So for example, if I want to click on this login, I should know what is the code behind this login link, correct? And it's not very difficult learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the basic part is not difficult. You can learn it. You can learn it um, within, let's say, 15 to 20 hours. It will not take much time. Right? And it's very interesting. Very interesting. OK. Coming back to this, then learn a Java program. Or see, Selenium works with different programming language. It works with Java. It works with C Sharp. Uh, JavaScript, Python. So then learn a particular programming language, okay? Thoroughly, okay? I'm not saying you should learn the advanced concept like J2E or Java server pages or Beans. That is not required. But at least up to a point where, you know, you understand about the core Java part and then start learning Selenium, right? So Selenium comes after all these things. The basic um, you know, mistake uh, people does uh, who want to learn uh, automation side, they directly jump to the Selenium and they try to find out in internet um, all the resources to learn these things, right? So it's better don't jump directly to the Selenium. Learn the basic things about HTML, CSS, and JS, JavaScript. Learn Java part properly and then do Selenium. Then learn framework designing then learn about GitHub, how the Git command works, and then learn Jenkins to, to you know, automate the whole circle, whole part um, in a better way. You create the task in Jenkins or the job in Jenkins so that there is, will be no human intervention to, to execute the test cases. Okay, it's like this. If you have any question, you can put the questions there. I'll take it in between. Um, but you know, keep it simple. So when you want to learn it, as we are talking about the roadmap, uh, keep the things simple, but yet in disciplined way of learning. Okay? If you will do the things in a disciplined way, step by step, if you learn it, you will remember it for a long time and you will be able to implement it practically. Okay. So if you want to become a test automation engineer or SDET, right, there should be an attitude to learn the things continuously, right? Come what may, um, any problem can come, you will troubleshoot it, you will resolve it, it's like this. Okay. So I have put the steps here, what you should do if you are automating something, right? So understand the manual flow first, okay, how it works what kind of website it is, right? So talk with the people who have created the test cases or who are executing it manually first or understand it on your own. Understand the elements to interact. 
So as I said that whatever you see in the user interface is some kind of elements, page elements. When we say elements, this may be a button, this may be a link, when you click it, this particular thing may be some kind of text box, correct? So if I right click here and say inspect, you will be able to see the code behind it that this is input where type is equals to text, ID is equals to login, email. So this is the code behind this HTML code, very simple thing. But as a test engineer, understand the elements, right? What, what kind of elements you are using in, in your website. You can talk with your UI developers to understand the things better because they are creating it. So test automation is collaborative task. It's, it's not like that um, somebody will give you the task and you will directly automate it, right? You, you, you can do that. But, you know, if you want to become a good test automation engineer, it's, it's a teamwork. You, you should go to your UI developer and, you know, discuss with them casually or formally discuss with them that, hey, um, what is the technology behind this user interface? Are we using Angular? React.js, what is the difference between Angular and React.js, right? Uh, what kind of element it is, how I can identify if you stuck at any point. Basically, you can go to the UI developers and ask them that, see, I'm not able to interact with this element for the automation. Can you help me? They will be, I guess, happily will be able to, you know, help you because they have written it. So they will tell you in a better way. Right? So gradually you will learn how they have written the code and gradually you will learn how to write your automation code as well. Okay. Going back to this, make more and more generic function utilities. So here the meaning is like more, you know, generic things you will make like, okay, interact, how to interact with the text box. Maybe it is same throughout the, uh, your, your, websites or different pages right so make more and more functions generic functions or the utilities keep the framework simple so we are going to talk about our syllabus part also so let me show that to you so that you will get to know that um, we are doing you know in a proper what i have described in the roadmap we are doing in the same way right so this this link um, we we have shared already or we will share it with all of you let's understand that uh, uh, this syllabus is designed um, with a lot of you know brainstorming about what is the demand from the industry and how a test uh, engineer right or the fresher should pursue this course right the ideal way so basically we have divided it in, in 10 weeks okay and first we will learn about java part We'll understand about the you know testing part first, how manual flow works. We will properly install the Java. We'll, we'll do some basic stuff about Java programming first, right? So this first week will be like setting up the tone of you know learning the programming first, right? So programming is more of like problem solving approach, right? We should not try to mug it. We should try to understand the concept, practice more and more on that part, then you'll be good on programming side, okay? Then um, we will talk about the object-oriented programming. Meanwhile, what we will do, you know, we will give you some assignments also to work on HTML and CSS and create a simple website, and we will help you fully on uh, you know how you should do it how to learn it we will give you sufficient time to to make a simple web page also right so that you will familiar about how how web page works we will on on the week two we will uh, do object oriented programming concepts um on session number four on the week two we'll talk about more on inheritance exception handling part then after that, we will start Selenium part, right? So because these things are prerequisite to start with the Selenium, then we will go to the Selenium part. We will do basic thing about 
filter, some actions about clicking on this link, let's say, and we'll use a live project kind of ERP system itself. Uh, this is itself a one ERP system where, uh, you know, if I, I will log in here, it will show me some modules here. It's a login module, ceiling module here, customer. If I click, I can create new customer. So after completion of this course, you can say that you know how to automate one ERP system, right? It's like this. Fine. So I'm not going much on that project part, but let's understand that <clears throat> we are going to do in a very practical way um, with some kind of live project. So then we will understand about the test NG framework, which is a very basic framework for Selenium automation. And then weight mechanism, then we will go to the advanced Selenium concepts related to pop-up handling, debugging if something will fail, um, iframe handling, right? So in website, anything can happen when you're automating something, let's say this website, see here in the background, something is freezed out and some kind of modal or pop-up has come in, in, in what we say foreground, right? The background is frozen and foreground, there is some form which you have to fill. So basically you have to jump to this particular form and then you have to perform something and then you have to go back to the to the to the parent window or the background window right so these all things will be handled uh through through automation script right See, so in manual it looks very easy that okay if we will come back to the back end uh, background uh website right or web page but in automation you have to handle it properly okay coming back to to this so then we will understand about page object model framework because when you are designing your test cases you have to put it in a proper way you have to make more maintainable code more simpler code so that your team member can also contribute to your test cases or the proper test automation framework so we'll, we'll create one framework from scratch okay using the design pattern based on the page object model okay we'll understand about the exception handling reporting mechanism how to run your test cases in parallel mode multi-browser mode uh, what is data driven testing how to get the test data from excel sheet those things we will do and then we will um, go to another framework which is cucumber which is you know very much in demand nowadays uh, which supports bdd okay so bdd is behavior driven development cucumber is not bdd so let's understand it behavior driven development is a development approach cucumber supports bdd approach for the testing part okay so once you learn about the selenium part it will be very easy for you to understand about the cucumber also we will go in depth about creating features, step definition, reporting mechanism, and continuing on week eight about cucumber part. But then we will, in the week eight itself, we'll start on the continuous integration. Um, this is, you know, uh, this is expected nowadays from test engineer that um, you should know Git command so that you can add your automation code to the github manage your own repository share that with your team members uh, work with jenkins setup and uh, create your own smoke testing job regression testing job and, and different kind of you know whatever test execution uh, you required create those kind of job and execute it right we'll talk about um, some kind of uh, integration also with the cloud environment testing, let's say integrating with browser stack or source lab, one of the example we'll take one of them. Okay, and then finally on the 10, we'll review um, whatever we have done, we'll review some key concept, revise it, uh, we'll talk about best practices, 
we'll talk about the career opportunities what you should learn next what you should do next what kind of practice you should do so i am coming back to this slide because i said it this right that this road map is like this it's not like you you finish your uh, course and you will magically become some uh, sdet or test automation engineer it's not like that it's continuous learning guys you have to put effort then to practice more let's say you have to make your own goal that okay i'll practice more on that part concentrate on it then again on the q3 experiment more you know, and then share it whatever you have learned it's like this so the same thing i talked about that uh, you know disciplined way of learning is this and this is very important we have to have less let's do attitude so when you are stuck at any, at any point don't stop there right learn more things about it okay meanwhile i i will take some questions here what i'm able to see is um software development engineer or testing part uh see is it same or not somebody has asked it uh, so testing is a part of software development right so you have to look in that part um, a web page is a part of a website it means a website contains different web pages correct a website is a full you know website where you have different pages right so web pages are part of websites do project requires for a fresher uh, what kind of project we should do uh, what kind of thing you can put in your resume so as as of now i am talking about the testing and the automation part so once you you are done with this course uh, you can put it in your resume that you know uh, test automation now you have 3 to 4 month of experience or more it is based on how how you are pursuing it and what kind of experience you can showcase you have to do your own practice create your own framework and we will help you on that part it's like this so you have to add all things which is related to selenium all things which is related to continuous integration and that will make a good impact on whoever will see your resume okay so with this let's do attitude uh, let's let's sort of it something so that will be more uh, fruitful you know to to see how we automate uh, something in our system right so let me go back to this and let's take some kind of example first okay so we'll take an example to automate a particular flow let's take this itself what i have shown you let me log out from here and basically i am showing this to you so that you will understand that uh, you know it's not that much tough right you can generate some interest on doing test automation side so let's assume this is a erp system and uh, this is the login link here so if i click here some kind of user id and password i have to provide in this text box let's assume as of now we will put some wrong user id and invalid password and once you click here you will be able to see invalid login try again okay so this flow we will automate this particular flow we will automate um so what are the things required to automate it that part we have to understand first what are the things required to automate this um we should understand how to open the browser first thing okay so i uh, i'll note down i'll note down somewhere that what are the things required to to automate this okay yes then let me open a notepad and then we will go through that so let's do that okay so for example open browser first step manual manual step it is then what is the next step let me go back to that basically the next step is open this particular website okay that's fine open the uh, website 
this one. Why? What is the next step? There is a login link, right? So click on login. That is the step. Click on login. Fine. Uh, precisely, I will say login link to navigate to login page. Okay. So when you click on the login, basically you will go to the login page. Then you have to identify this text box and put something. Let's say test at the rate test.com. So identify this text box, identify this password text box, and click on the log. So what we will say, identify, or let's let's write manual step first. So um, you will be saying uh, specify invalid username or email. Sorry. Username or email, then specify um, invalid password. Correct. Then click on login button. Okay. Once you do that, verify this. So you should say verify verify error message what what is the message this one so you will say that verify the error message invalid login try one is this or display correct tags are complete flow for the manual testing the same thing you have to implement in automation step by step so selenium provides you a mechanism to to open the browser open a particular website clicking on different thing, putting some text box, uh, putting some you know keystroke on this text box, clicking on the login, verifying it. But before we do it, let's understand that whatever you see in a web page is some kind of element. It's made of HTML code. So come, going back to this, basically, when you say you want to open this website and then you want to click on this login. So you have to identify this element uniquely. Here, when I'm seeing this, it's saying that uh, this is an anchor tag, which has class is equal to something, href is equal to this, and login as a text. Okay? So, so in, in, in Selenium, there are different kind of locator technique which you can use to identify the elements. Okay, So you have to identify this element uniquely. To work with it, I have to identify this text box uniquely. Then only I'll be able to put it here. And that's not a difficult task. Once you will practice it, understand how to identify the element, you'll be able to do it. There are different techniques. We have already taken one of the session about identifying the element We'll share it maybe in, in the description or in, uh, we will share with you. Like um, we have already taken this session about identifying the element, working with it. And during the course also, we will we'll learn it thoroughly. So if I inspect this login button, the code behind it is button where class is equals to this, type is equals to submit. So you can create some kind of CSS selector or the X path to identify it, click it. The same thing for just for the reference, I'm going to show you here in, in, in the code in Eclipse. I'm not going to talk about how we have written all these things, right? This is like basically creating project, importing some of the um, jars or related APIs, okay? But the basic code, to perform the same thing is just five to six lines. Okay. You see here, we have opened a browser through this code where I, we are saying web driver driver is equals to new Firefox driver. And then we are saying, you know, opening this website, then we are saying identify the element by link text and click on that login link. Here we are saying that, uh, uh, you know, specify the 
invalid user id or email by identifying it by that element you are identifying by id and saying i want to pass this text to this element then we are saying identify another element by x path pass this text then finally we are clicking on that submit button using the css selector and then click it so just five to six lines of code to perform the same thing which we have done manually so i'm running it as of now you'll be able to see i am not doing anything uh, manually now so it will open automatically the web browser it will open the website and it was very fast if if you see that it was very fast right <laughs> we were not able to even check what what it is doing because you know it is done by the machine it is done by the machine or the script it is very fast so manually probably it will take one or two minutes to reach to this point but through automation just five to ten seconds it took to do all these things let me slow down this so that you will be able to see it right so for that as of now as of now i am putting thread dot sleep though it's not a good practice put the thread dot sleep in automation there are weight mechanism which you can add as of now i'm adding thread dot sleep and which will basically pause you know the thing is after the 18th line execution, it will pause for five seconds. It's like this. Then it will execute 21st line and then it will pause for five seconds so that you will see it slowly how it is working. So I'm running that again. Let me close the old browser. Okay. I am running it again and I will not touch anything. It will happen automatically. It is opening the website. After five seconds, it will click on the login link, click. After five seconds, it will put some email address. After five seconds, it will put the password. And now it will click on the login link. So how it has worked? Because we have identified this element properly and we have clicked it. So that's the task of a test automation engineer that identify the element. Then what is the next task? The, is this just this or something else? So here we talked about this thing, right? So let me again go to the slide. Here we talked about that. Um, you have to understand the element. That is just second part, yeah? second step. But then you have to understand what are the common code, how to structure, you know, properly Put your code in a structured way then you have to make a framework uh, because this is just five line of, of code but uh, let's understand that if you want to automate 500 test cases right then it will become very complex for you to maintain the code right so you have to use some kind of framework to properly put it in a structured uh, proper folder where you want to put your test cases, where the reports will be generated and all, right? And keep your framework simple, uh, put that in continuous integration and then showcase it properly. It's like continuous feedback you will get from your team member or the client that, okay, this framework is fine, it's working fine, can you make some changes and all, right? As of now, I just want to show the result uh, this basic, you know, once you will execute it, you will get it in test output. Um, some result which is emailable report. If you see, this is showing me that this your test cases is executed. One test case was there. It took this many milliseconds. It is millisecond, guys. Okay, it's not seconds. And uh, it 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 took it like this, right? It's saying green means it is passed. If it will fail, it will show me red. This is a very basic HTML report, um, test ng report it is. But when you will grow, gradually work on different kind of reporting mechanism, which is uh, you know extend report or cucumber report. We will work on. Then you will see a very beautiful report where you will see how many test cases pass, fail in a graphical way. Right? You must have seen in Jira or some kind of uh, other project management tool where you see proper 
graphical way of showing you know test case pass percentage and all okay so that's it for understanding about uh, how how test automation work how to become a better uh, you know how to start you know your learning journey about um, test automation or sdt engineer okay while well, guys that's it at my end as of now let me take some questions here so some of the questions uh, which which you may come across is uh, like what is the better tool right somebody someone can ask like what we should learn right um, to start with your test automation journey so there are different tools available in the market you can learn anything but basic thing is whatever you learn learn it thoroughly right most of the tools are same so selenium cypress Playwright, UTP, you know, basic idea is same that you have to automate the manual flow to the application. That is the basic idea. Second basic idea is identifying the element and then there are some actions on that element. That is also same. Then um, maybe the project structure is different. Maybe the reporting mechanism will be different. But the basic thing is still same, guys. Page object model can be implemented in Selenium also, in Cypress also, or other test automation tool also. So once you get, let's take an example. Once you will learn Selenium Java, you will be in a good position to learn anything else because you know the basic now, right? So learn it properly, uh, thoroughly, and then learn. In future, you can learn anything else once you learn Selenium with Java or Selenium with any programming language. Um, but important part is then make your own project also. Okay, once you learn with a live project, make your own project then. Okay, so that you will get a confidence that okay, you can create your own project as well. Okay. Then experiment on it. So keep on learning on it. Um, add more features to your test automation, and then you know um, you will come across some kind of error. You can resolve it, troubleshoot it, learn more things about it, and then you know once you learn it, share it to your team members time by time. So it's like this. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, it was great interacting with you. And uh, also, it was very uh, good to see the example of uh, live example of the same. And I guess uh, anyone from the audience, if you have any kind of doubt you would like to ask regarding how to pursue the career or anything, you can post it in the chat box right now. or if you're watching the session afterwards, then also you can comment down. We'll be uh, answering you in the comment section as well. Okay, so we'll be waiting for a few minutes. Till then, I'll be uh, again sharing the uh, course page for the uh, so, same. So just give me a minute. Okay, sir. Uh, so basically, sir, would you like to share anything or anything from your side? Nitesh, sir. Yeah, so as, as I share, there, there, there is proper structured uh, course, you know, so if you will go through it properly, you will be able to understand that, uh, um, you know, one by one, how you should learn it, will give you assignments also. So that will be a good journey. That will be a good learning journey. It's like this. Okay. Yes, and sir himself will be uh, the mentor for the course, right, sir? Yes, yes, yes. So I will be 
very active on uh, you know what i am doing as well as is the same time what you guys are doing whether you are practicing it properly or not right whether you are you know uh, submitting your assignment or not though it's not difficult i i'm telling you learning test automation is all about keeping the things in a disciplined way okay mm. it's it's not too much complex there are a lot of hype around it that uh, learning these things is difficult it's not if you do it in a proper way in a proper guided way you'll be able to do it yes exactly basically if you want to learn anything if you have a good mentor with with us then the learning experience also uh, becomes very easy and we also enjoy the learning phase yes yes continuity is the main part if you are continuing on that part you'll be able to make it and you will enjoy it once you you have good hands on on that part you will play with the test automation then and one of the question which generally people ask is in my company i do not have any test automation project so how i will learn there is a basic question people ask that i do not have opportunity to to uh, work on the automation so guys this is website so nobody is just stopping us to automate any website right so if you know some website which you can open uh, go through some of the flow and you know automate it it's fine you can open google website and <clears throat> search do some searching right what you do in manually do it in automated way you fill some registration form do it the automation it's very easy so nobody is stopping us to learn the automation you may have the automation project in your uh, company or you may not have but you should learn it and irrespective of whether you are searching job or not irrespective of whether uh, uh, it's a difficult thing which i am saying whether you are interested toward test automation or not we should learn it the the reason is industry is moving towards it right so you learn in academic how you do it you do first semester second semester you learn some subject then go to the next next uh, yes. semester right and you learn different subjects then only mm-hmm. you you can say you are a complete uh, let's say engineer MCA. or bc or yeah. mca correct you get a degree yes. nowadays take it like this once you are learning testing concepts it's better you do automation also take it as like this is the thing you have to do so that you can say that i am a complete test engineer who who knows automation all as well right automation take it as a part of your work it's like this irrespective of whether you are getting that kind of work or not mm-hmm. so like if if we have the uh, keen desire to learn anything then we can ourselves find the way to practice or anything basically we need uh, the uh, desire to learn Correct, correct, correct. Perfect. Okay, so uh, we, uh, I can see no doubts coming from the audience. So, okay, so basically, I'll be sharing the uh, course page. I'll be giving you the idea, a basic I- uh, idea about what the uh course page looks like so before uh, that i will be uh, saying goodbye to our nitesh sir so nitesh sir uh, thank you for the great session it was great interacting with everyone uh, and you as well thank you sir thank, thank you, you for the session good interaction yeah bye okay so i'll be sharing the uh screen just give me a minute and Okay, so basically, I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Just write down yes or no in the chat box if my screen is visible properly, quickly, and after that, I'll be ending this session. Okay, just post it down. So this is the uh, course that uh, Geeks for Geeks is providing, and it is completely uh, based on testing and automation. And different technologies like uh, Selenium and Cucumber will be uh, covered in this. So it is going to be a live course, and uh, Nitesh sir himself will be the course mentor. You can uh, go through the uh, 
की हाईलाइट बेसिकली विल बी गेटिंग फोर्टी फाइव प्लस आवर्स ऑफ लाइव कोर्स एंड दैट कोर्स लाइक द लाइव सेशन विल बी वेरी मच इंटरक्टिव यू कैन इंटरेक्ट विद द मैंटोर इफ यू है डाउट्स लाइक लेट्स यू हैव स्टडीड द एंटायर वीक एंड यू केम अप विद टेन टू फिफ्टीन डाउट्स यू कैन गेट इट सॉल्व बाई द मैंटोर एज वेल इफ द टाइम परमिट्स राइट बेसिकली we also need to cover the syllabus so along with that if the time permits we can get our doubts solved and as well as we can get the doubt support as well okay so this is going to be the uh, course content you can uh, go through the course content what all things will be uh, covered up you can also download the syllabus and uh, this is the detail about our course in instructor uh, nitesh sir himself will be uh, taking the uh, session okay so basically i'll be sharing the link of the uh, this as well in the chat box okay i have already shared so if you have any kind of doubt regarding the same or anything just put post it down in the comment section or chat box okay so that was it from my end okay i i guess uh, any everything was clear to everyone just write down yes or no in the chat box a quick reply from everyone yes or no if it was clear to you okay so okay so it's uh, already 12 am i am in 12 pm so we'll be ending this session here only uh, thank you everyone thank you for joining the session it was great interacting with everyone and uh, do share the uh, video with everyone who is looking for uh, going into automation engineering okay so if your friends are finding it interesting or you know that they are uh, learning Uh, how to test and they want to pursue their career in sdt then do share this video with every uh, with them and do like the video if you enjoyed this session and do comment down uh, your views or anything in the comment section thank you everyone thank you for joining it was uh, great interacting with everyone thank you bye bye